we spoke about the dangers of mercury amalgam. Fucking amalgam, amalgam. You guys were giving me crap last week for how I was saying it. The point is, if the person telling you the truth doesn't know the terminology, then maybe the people in the field, the dentists, the orthodontists, are all complicit with each other in making you sick and padding their bank accounts. I mean, that being said, a lot of you guys last week didn't actually know the dangers of those fillings, so I figured I can address two other common dental procedures wisdom tooth removal, and root canals. One very important thing to understand is that, generally speaking, most modern medical procedures or interventions are band-aids for the problems that you actually have. So many diseases and issues arise from poor food quality and high radiation environments that doctors and dentists have been trained to treat those problems for our entire lives. Personally, I haven't been treated by a doctor in about 10 years. I've had a few dental cleanings here and there, but that's just cosmetic because I wanted white teeth. You know, then you have people going to the doctor's office every week, every time they sneeze. <coughs> Better put on my mask. For that same period of time, I've been told I have a cavity that needs to be, you know, drilled and filled but I've never done so and it's perfectly fine. Just about everyone knows what wisdom teeth are. The third set of molars that you get in your teens, perhaps early 20s, long after all your adult teeth have come in. Due to poor facial development, lack of nutrition predominantly, our bone structure in general, the skull and jaw especially, you know, what we're looking at every day, are not large enough to naturally accommodate our teeth. Therefore, the teeth come in crooked, misaligned. You ever wonder why some people have perfect teeth and others don't? It's, it's genetics, hey, hey. It's simply their nutritional environment, which we've spoken about many times in past videos. I think it was titled, What Makes Us Beautiful. Root canals involve a bit more than just, you know, pulling the wisdom teeth out, although you'd probably be better off getting the teeth pulled than a root canal. When a person's tooth becomes infected and abscess forms near the root, a pocket of bacteria, it's more of an extreme downside of a modern diet. Immediate bacterial infections that can be so painful people want to die. The dentist has to remove the tooth, dig out that pulp, the root of the tooth, he's digging a canal composed of very sensitive nerves, and then he replaces all of that with a type of plastic and then puts your tooth back on or something synthetic. If you do think you need a medical procedure, it's always important to get the opinion of several different doctors and specialists, even for something like wisdom tooth removal. It's tough because you know most families go to the same dentist their whole lives, then when the dentist tells them, oh, you need XYZ procedure, the family blindly agrees and trusts them. The same thing with doctors. And if you don't agree, they use their authority to weaponize fear and you know in the few cases where they couldn't just get you to do it by asking that tends to work and these people are indoctrinated and brainwashed to believe what they're doing for you is actually good it's actually the right thing so they get really angry like how could you not trust me i know everything about health and i'm going to fix you that's that's the unfortunate mindset possible some of them are just complacent, which means they're evil and they know what they're doing. And I guess a lot of them realize that at an older age. What's kind of crazy is 85% of people have their wisdom teeth removed in America. And that varies by country, which makes you kind of suspicious. Like, hold on, wait, why are they doing it differently there? If we're doing it this way here, is one better than the other? And you realize just the whole system's corrupt. You know, this isn't a simple non-invasive procedure. They're literally ripping teeth out of your jawbone, out of the roof of your mouth. You know, there's a lot that can go wrong. The nerve damage, you know, they can punch holes in your sinus cavity. Imagine how much of a nightmare that would be, problems the rest of your life. And those are two primary risks I know about, but no one mentions the sunken mouth. You know how those old people that they lose all their teeth and like their mouth sucks in, it looks like a, like, like not, it's not attractive. What we're doing here is like 
a lesser version of that. You know, your mouth will certainly sink in, your cheeks, your jaw. The reason they typically do this when people are young is so they don't notice those facial changes as much and they just say, oh, he's still growing, he'll be fine, but they're making you and your kids uglier. They don't want you to know that. So if you're in a situation where your wisdom teeth are definitely impacted, you know, I would get a full 3D x-ray, you'll confirm that 100% with multiple doctors, and, and maybe there's a way around it. Maybe if they remove the upper teeth and then let the wisdom teeth come in in place, you definitely don't want to completely ruin your facial structure. You need to replace where those teeth are to not have any changes. Moving on, the goal of root canals is simply to remove that infected pulp and abscess, the bacteria which can be in a pouch-like wound. Problem is, that pulp has many different functions, delivering nutrients, healing the tooth, and even if it's infected, that pulp is kind of transporting and removing bacteria and trying to fix the problem. We've been conditioned to believe that our teeth, our hair, aren't really living parts of our body and can be removed without repercussion. But everything has a function, some more so than others. You know, would you let a doctor cut off your finger because it has an infected cut? I mean, the gallbladder removals are ridiculous. You know, the colon stuff, it's, it's really disgusting and discouraging that doctors, you know, <laughs> might as well be a butcher shop. So the problem starts with the material they actually use to replace the pulp in the tooth. Gutta percha, I looked up the pronunciation of that one, boys, is a type of plastic made from a tree. But that only comprises about 20% of the material, 66% of it being zinc oxide, and the remainder being heavy metals. You know, heavy metals, obviously toxic and damaging to the body, so is zinc oxide. It's kind of funny, because you can look up like, oh, is zinc oxide toxic? And they're like, oh yeah, it can damage your lungs, but you'll be okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do you want that in your body? You know, of course the government bodies that oversee these materials deem them safe. You know, just like it's safe, you know, to sleep under a cell tower. In reality, the material used for root canals is toxic in itself, let alone any infectious bacteria that will remain. What that means is regardless of medical cleaning, chemicals, techniques, high levels of endotoxins are still in the cavity after the sterilization, after the root canal. Despite most bacteria being eliminated, the endotoxins remained. Endotoxins are released when bacteria ruptures or disintegrates and are toxic, hence the name. I was looking at one study literally showing several 60-year-old patients had brain abscesses from the bacteria multiplying in their mouths. You know, this ties back to the money aspect. You know, dentists charge between $1,500 and $2,000 for a root canal procedure, and then you have all these health problems that make a whole bunch of other doctors a bunch of money. Statistically, about 50% of root canals fail within 10 years. You know, imagine how much damage was caused before people realize it's, you know, completely screwed. The alternative to a root canal is having a dental implant, basically a screw in your jaw. I don't know how much of a better option that is. There's definitely some radiation issues with the metal. The point is, fix your nutrition, fix your lifestyle, get your fat-soluble vitamins in balance, make sure you have plenty of magnesium and minerals in your diet, and you won't have dental issues really any health issues. There was a very popular documentary called The Root Cause. It was actually taken off Netflix, but I think it's on YouTube. I haven't seen it, but I looked up a quick summary and it correlates root canals to cancer. And there are plenty of studies I looked at that did show that. And it's understandable because the amount of bacteria and toxins in these wounds in your mouth by the root canals on a daily basis for years and years and years, perhaps decades, are bound to cause massive amounts of damage and create opportunities for other infections in other parts when the bacterium is traveling to nearby tissue. Now, I, I drew this here almost as a joke, but the tooth is sad because, you know, cysts, enclosed bacterial wounds, will literally grow on top of the root canal and that'll stay there and just keep generating endotoxins that will continue to damage your body. That amount of toxins can become so great that it exceeds any other lifestyle negatives. 
but it's usually a combination of several things. You know, for me, it was the high radiation environment, the metal implants in my jaw, plus liver damage from iron overload. Now that I've addressed each of those factors, you know, I feel a lot better, I'm getting healthier, but you know, it can take years and years and years to fix damage that was caused over years and years and years. And most people don't have access to the right information. Uh, speaking of which, if you're trying to search for this information on YouTube, on Google, incredibly difficult to find anything that goes against the mainstream, you know, smiling dentists telling you the procedure is safe and has no downsides yet. They're going to completely mess up your face. Uh, speaking of which, uh, is facial regression a term? I'm, I'm assuming someone's smart enough to have come up with it before, but uh, maybe Frankie Boy should be writing the medical textbooks. So I think this will wrap up the dental discussions for now. You know, I could probably do a video on cavities, on what color our teeth are supposed to be, but I, th I mean, am I, am I a dentist channel? Like, what's the deal? Point is, fix your diet, fix your lifestyle. You shouldn't have health issues. I think I even did a video um, how I get my teeth white already. So there shouldn't be any more we have to cover. But if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And if you do want to support me further, go to frank .com. You can check out all of my businesses, sign up for the newsletter. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.